So, welcome our next speaker. So he's from Chukuba University. So basically he's supervised by Hideki Kakeja. So he's, he's also part of our conference committee. So he's a master student. He's in the first year of his master's from computer science. Yeah, we are very much looking forward uh, to your talk. So welcome. Thank you. I'm very happy to be able to speak to you today. I'm Kokoro Higuchi from the University of Tsukuba. Today, I'd like to talk about an application of high-resolution 3D display for medical purposes and the experimental results on perception of results using a 3D display. <coughs> Here is the outline of my talk. First, I will give a brief introduction about time match Plex parax barrier. This method is used for our 3D display. As you know, parallax barrier is one of the simplest methods to realize all telescopy. But the viewing zone maintaining telescopy is narrow, and the resolution of image is lower than that of the two-dimensional display. Ah, sorry. <laughs> In order to realize full resolution of the telescopy, time division multiplexing parallax barrier has been proposed. The whole information of the stereo pair is divided in two frames by resolution, where one frame shows half of the resolution of each view as usual. And the next frame shows the other half by shifting the phases of the barrier pattern and the image pattern. By switching between the two frame pattern or at a high speed, the image from for each eye can be presented at a full resolution on the LCD panel. But the viewing zone without crosstalk is limited in this system. To achieve high resolution of the image and expansion of viewing zone free from crosstalk at the same time, Zan et al. proposed time division quadraplexing parallax barrier. Here the image is placed in front of and the parallax barrier is placed behind. In this system, the same image is delivered to two of four viewpoints. The left eye image is shown at the point A and B, and the right eye image is point C and D. CD image without crosstalk can be observed. In this state, resolution of the stereoscopic image is one quarter. By switching the position of the barrier and the, each image at a high speed, full res <coughs> resolution images are presented. Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> As a result, full resolution stereoscopic image can be observed after four frames. When two LCD panels are layered, more patterns emerged. This can be erased by inserting a slanted direction diffuser. We apply slanted barrier slits to cope with the diff diffusion. These slits should be inclined in the same direction as the direction of diffusion to avoid crosstalk. The viewing zone in the horizontal direction can be enlarged easily be changing the position of the seat to the follow the viewing motion. But both I cannot stay within the viewing zone when the viewer moves in the de depth direction. When we apply adaptive control of time division, the viewing zone in depth direction can be enlarged. This figure shows the viewing zone of the time division quadraplexing. When the viewer goes further from the screen, the angle of the viewing zone should be narrower to be delivered. The left eye image and the right eye image to each eye. If we apply triplexing in place of quadraplexing, the angle becomes narrower and the stereoscopy is maintained even when the viewer is far from the screen. In this way, the viewing zone in depth direction can be expanded dramatically. 
Here, I review the main points of our display. First, our display adapts the time division multiplexing parallax barrier to realize all stereoscopy. So a doctor can get depth information without wearing glasses. Second, our display has a full HD resolution. So the doctor can see the detail of the medical images. So it is fa fair to third, our display has a full HD, uh, sorry. Second, our display has a wide and deep viewing zone. So the doctor's movement is not restricted. So it is fair to say that our display is suitable for medical purpose. <coughs> to measure the effect of the resolution perception when we use a 3D display. Next, we compare the 3D display we have developed with 2D imaging. This is the hypothesis of our experiment. As you know, 3D images have more information than 2D images since different images are shown of each eye. So a 3D image may be perceived to have a high resolution by the viewer even when the resolution is the same as that 2D. To test this hypothesis, we conducted the following experiment. We showed each subject both 2D and 3D image at the same time and asked whether the resolutions were the same or not. First, we display a low resolution 3D image and the original high resolution 2D image top and bottom and ask the subject to compare the resolution. <coughs> Next, we gradually increase the resolution of the 3D image, like this. Each time, the subject was asked if the resolution of the 2D two image were equal or not. If the 3D image looks the same as a 2D image at a low resolution, it means that our hypothesis is supported. Now, I will explain the image we use for our experiment. The image used in the experiment is obtained from Middlebury stereo datasets. Since the purpose of this experiment was to compare resolution in detail, we used an image including high frequency component to a large extent, while the binocular parallax was small and gradual. We create low resolution image by using Fourier transform. Two procedure is as follow. First, we apply Fourier transform to image. Second, we mask the high frequency components. Third, we performed inverse Fourier transform to generate the low resolution image. Finally, we color out the part with small and gradual parallax to be present in this experiment. <coughs> let's move on to the concrete, uh, sorry, uh, let's move on to concrete experimental procedure. First, as a control experiment, we show to a pair of 2D image with different resolution to each subject. We gradually increase the size of the mask applied to the low resolution 2D image, and the resolution was increased till the subject answered that the top and the bottom image had the same resolution. 12 subjects in their 20s and 30s participant participated in this experiment. In, uh, sorry. in order not to be affected by position of two images, we show the low resolution image at the bottom two or six subjects, while we show the low resolution image on the top of other six subjects, like this. Next. We show the low resolution 3D image and the high resolution 2D image and asked each subject to compare the resolutions. Here again, we gradually increase the size of the mask applied to the low resolution 3D image and the resolution was increased till the subject answered that the top and bottom image are the same resolution. 
Here again, the position of the paired image was swapped to avoid the influence of positioning difference. This is the result of the experiment. These graphs show that the mask number when the subject perceived to no difference in the de resolution. Compared with 2D, the subject answered that the resolution was the same even when the mask size was smaller, which means that the 3D image is perceived to have a higher resolution compared with 2D image. This result supports our hypothesis. Now we move on to the medical application of the high resolution 3D display we purpose. The software we have developed provides doctor with an annotated CT image. A stereo pair of the volumetric image is present side by side, and it is converted to an interleave image with parallax barrier by the display driver. Since the rendering software is con connected to a head tracking device, a CD image with proper motion parallax is provided to follow the viewer's motion. The software is equipped with various medical annotation tools, such as labeling image and combining multiple data. With this tool, the doctor can annotate CT image with the help of AI. It can automatically draw lines by identifying boundaries with the help of image processing technology like this. <laughs> the annotated label and the volumetric CT data can be shown simultaneously with this software. This video shows how this software operates with a telescopic display we have proposed. On the left, you can see the side-by-side -side image. As the viewer moves his head, the mo model moves accordingly to show proper motion parallax. This is achieved with, with the help of the head tracking device. This is Kinect. On the right, you can see the old telescopic display we have made. Thus, medical 3D images can be shown the viewers without forcing them to wearing specific special glasses. Now, I conclude my talk. This is a summary of my talk. First, we realize full HD telescopic with a wide viewing area by time division multiplexic parallax barrier. Next, we carry out an experiment with a our display to confirm that 3D image is perceived to have a high, higher resolution compared with a 2D image. Finally, we develop a medical software and combine it with our 3D display to show 3D medical data. That's all. Thank you very much for your kind attention. <laughs>